hey hi well i'm not making this video for any youtube algorithm or having hundreds of views i'm making this video for myself and for the people who are genuinely interested in this topic i think this subject is super deep and something that we always need to remind ourselves and never forget and that's why I'm documenting this information here. I have created this channel to discuss topics like spirituality, self-growth and living life with mental peace. And this topic is no different. This is about sensory pleasure, which I discovered the major cause of human suffering. This video will be less about those fancy edits, those graphics and will be more about what I want to share. It's like you and me talking one-on-one. Well, the topic hit me when a few days before I was reading the book Bhagavad Gita. You know, sometimes you have those moments of clarity when you understand this is it. This was that moment when I understood the subject. So I'm going to divide this video in three parts. First one, first part is what is sensory pleasure, why it is the cause of suffering and the third one is how do you get rid of this sensory, uh, wow this is a tongue twister, how do you get rid of these sensory pleasures? Well to be in context you might have heard these famous sayings by Buddha that is life is suffering, the root of all suffering is attachment. I have understood here the attachment is the sensory pleasures, we are addicted to them. And according to the Bhagavad Gita, sensory pleasures are the reasons which may seem enjoyable at the moment are temporary and often lead to suffering because they create desires and attachments. But I don't understand sensory pleasures. What are they? In our modern day, sensory pleasures come in many forms. Foods, social media, entertainment, shopping, I mean having those material possessions, alcohol, gambling, sexual pleasures. But now there can be questions like food? Really? Now you need to understand here, no one is telling you to stop eating food. But overeating food is a kind of a sensory pleasure. And it can cause not only mental suffering, but also physical. And I'm coming to this point later. But first, let me clarify why sensory pleasure is suffering. Sensory pleasures are temporary and fleeting. They do not provide lasting satisfaction. Once they go away, you seek more and more. For example, if you have a potato chip, you desire to have it more. Even if you know this is not good for you, this is your sensory pleasure state. On the other hand, on the other side of universe, if you don't have that potato chip, then you don't feel the guilt. You devoid yourself from having that sensory pleasure. This is your sensory abstinence. This is yours and mine's normal state and we should always live in this normal state. Overall, it is a never-ending cycle of wanting more. It gives short-term satisfaction and when it passes away, they leave an emptiness within you. Come on, tell me, haven't you felt ever like this? Number two, sensory pleasure is a distraction from your inner peace and self-realization. It diverts your mind from your original focus, your life goals, and channels it towards other material objects. For example, if you are working on a project, it can be your exam or any office work. Sensory pleasure will divert your mind to watch that phone's notification or finish that long podcast. Another example is when you are getting bored, instead of doing something productive, your sensory pleasures guide you to order that fast food online even if you are not hungry just for entertainment so you need to understand the point here the true happiness or inner satisfaction comes from within not seeking it from the material world in the long term it leads to dissatisfaction or having an unfulfilling life number three sensory pleasure create attachment and dependence and what i mean by that if your mind is getting addicted to those sensory pleasures you get so much attached to them that you face difficulties in letting them go and it becomes a cause of suffering when the pleasures are unavailable to you. Here I'm giving you some examples. Too much social media and validation, like a dependency on external approval for self-worth. 
shopping more material possessions like having the latest model of phones or gadgets too much food and comfort eating like if circumstances prevent them from having those foods like dieting then it will lead you to frustration streaming or entertainment if someone can't access these platforms to watch their favorite shows or latest episodes then they feel restless and annoyed having luxury and lifestyle experience like if during times those people can't access or afford these luxuries they may feel frustrated i think you got my point sensory pleasures come in your life as an evil sugar coating those negative emotions in front of you but now how to get rid of these sensory pleasures this is the most important question so buddha also said that pain is inevitable and suffering is optional look again i'm not saying that you cannot have food or use social media or have sex but too much of everything is the problem only if you remind this point then everything is okay but apart from that there are some principles of disciplines if you follow then i'm i'm sure sensory pleasures will not eat you away and i'm going to discuss this with you right now these disciplines are consisting of ancient wisdoms but i can relate them so that you can practice these things even in this modern day so the next visuals will be coming in the flash card like forms so that you can remember or take time to understand those you can also take screenshots if you want practicing vairagya detachment Vairagya means learning to detach from the things around us that only brings temporary happiness. This idea is to understand that sensory pleasures don't offer lasting joy. They are like cheap thrills. So how to practice this? Take a few moments when you feel a desire for something like craving a treat or wanting a new gadget to ask yourself, does this fulfill me or is it just a quick pleasure I want? The reflection helps to practice detachment from the things you don't need. Need. The next one is practice dhamma, self-control. Dhamma is about controlling your senses so that they can't control you. Think of it as training yourself to resist the urge to give in to every craving. It's almost like delaying gratification. Start with small goals like reducing time spent on social media or avoiding unnecessary snacks. Each small step strengthen your willpower, making it easier to manage your desires in the long run. Practice Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya is all about channeling your energy away from a sensory indulgence, especially desires like sexual urges, like fabs. To focus on something more significant, I have made an entire video on this, which is the most popular video on this channel. You can watch this, I'll link that below. Engage in activities that require focus, like learning a new skill or meditation, and avoid situations that might trigger these strong desires, like watching images or videos that trigger your senses practice yukta moderation and this is very interesting moderation means balancing your daily habits like eating sleeping or working without overdoing or depriving yourself from these stuffs it's about choosing the middle path that keeps you grounded set limits on indulgent activities like occasionally eat sweets or watching social media for very limited time this way you enjoy those pleasures without letting them take over follow karma yoga selfless action and this is one of the most talked disciplines in the ancient wisdom it is about doing your work or duties without expecting anything in return try to perform one task each day just for the sake of doing it like helping someone without seeking a praise or indulge in your studies without worrying about whether you can solve all the exam questions just do your duty practice jhana yoga cultivating knowledge jhana is the practice of seeking actual knowledge about yourself and the world spend some time each day reading or reflecting on spiritual or philosophical ideas this could be any text like bhagavad gita or any book from your belief system gain your knowledge from reading books and the last one is one of my personal favorite and it's entirely up to you whether you'll do it or not this is engaging in bhakti yoga having devotion to the higher power 
it automatically naturally decreases your attraction to the sensory pleasures practice rituals or meditation that will help you to build the connection with the higher power it helped me a lot to control my mind and reevaluate the sensory pleasures within me so that's it this is what i wanted to talk for so long yeah meet you soon